Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and I have some news from the world of the Pokemon trading card game. If you guys didn't, couldn't already tell by the actual title of this video, Lysander's Trump Card has been banned. Lysander's Trump Card uh, reads, each player shuffles all cards in his or her discard pile back into his or her deck, except for Lysander's Trump Card, or this card here. Um, I believe it also excludes any other Lysander's Trump cards as well. Basically, they are banning this because they feel it eliminates, I, I guess, skill and stuff like that from the game. But here is what it reads. This came out just today. Lysander's Trump card banned. The trainer card, Lysander's Trump card, is being removed from Pokemon TCG Tournament play. As of June 15th, 2015, Lysander's Trump card, XY Phantom Forces, number 99 through 119 as well as the uh a full art version 118 out of 119 will be banned from all sanctioned play pokemon tournaments in most of the world the ban will go into effect june 20th in um japan this card has uh, created an undesirable play environment because it eliminates one of your opponent's victory conditions running out of cards in your deck allows repeated use of powerful trainers cards like hypnotic laser crushing hammer uh, Pokemon Catcher, Max Potion, etc. Allows drawing through your deck quickly with minimal repercussions. Cards like uh, Professor Juniper are played in fours, well, always been played in fours, but uh, set up Shaman as well. Just allow players to draw through their decks as quickly as possible so they can hit those cards and gain advantage uh, throughout the uh, entirety of the tournament or that one specific game and it extends the time of battles because it's practically a reset for the most part all section tournaments will be affected by this change including pokemon national world championships occurring after june fifteenth except in japan and the pokemon world championships in august now this here is a very interesting thing because as a player of pokemon and as a player of other card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! and um, I casually play magic but sometimes um, unforeseen card interactions happen that break the format and stuff like that and one way to normally fix that is to ban and or limit certain copies of that card from being played I believe a ban list done right aids a game into having and maintaining healthy formats Pokemon hasn't banned anything since the days of Sneasel from uh, Neo Genesis, I believe it was, way back in the day. Some of you guys might not even know about that. And Pokemon lets you play four of every card in your deck, no matter how powerful it was. The card could say, item, take one prize card, and you'll be able to play four copies of that in your deck. And then at any point in time you, during the game, you could just take four prizes because that card says so. Pokemon is that type of card game. There's no limit on how broken some things are. So seeing Lysander's Trump card actually getting banned is a good thing. I always felt this card was unhealthy for the format. Sure, there were situations where it's just not good to use. But decks like uh, the one... Ah... Uh, um, many players uh, play uh, things like uh, Seismic Toad, any speed decks, decks like Speed Lugia EX, decks like that benefit from cards like this because you simply just play a bunch of cards, let you draw 30, 40 cards in a turn, and then when you're about to deck out, you simply just play the Lysander's Trump card, get all those resources back, and do the exact same thing again. So there's really no consequence. I've felt since the uh, days of the last EX format, the game kind of went to crap because there's really no repercussions to anything that you do. You simply play a Professor Juniper. It was like, well, it doesn't matter because I can get everything back anyway. Whether or not we had cards like Item Finder, Junk Arm, stuff like that, you were always able to um, recover resources. I believe Junk Hunt, Sable Eye was probably the worst one. This here is a trend I would like to see the trading card game go in a little further. I would actually like uh, the trading card game to pursue a full out ban and restriction list. I can name a couple of cards that would write out or straight out be banned, uh, but most of those cards are going to 
changed when the format shifts. But I would like to see some of these cards banned or limited for world championships, like things like Hypnotoxic Laser. I would like to see Crushing Hammer uh, banned. I would like to probably see a ban on G-Booster. Uh, pretty much things that just restrict play. Hopefully in the future they can learn from this mistake here at Lysander's Trump card and actually make better cards that are healthy for the game. I don't mind cards that eliminate win conditions win conditions such as decking your opponent out you know a card that says shuffle three or four cards back into your deck something like that but Lysander's Trump card is way too extreme in that regards I would have much rather have a super rod reprint than have Lysander's Trump card so I'm glad to see that they banned this card I'm actually glad to see that they're taking the game seriously um, and one of the reasons that most people who play Yu-Gi-Oh! Magic don't take Pokemon seriously is because of the fact that there are no restrictions in Pokemon. You can pretty much do whatever you want, whenever you want, and there's no consequence to it whatsoever. The only consequence would be if you actually discarded all your copies trying to reach a certain card, and then you kind of hit it afterwards. But this here is a step in the right direction, and I fully support the ban of Lysander's Trump card. So I look forward to seeing what else that they can possibly do. Maybe we can start seeing things on limits like Shaman EX uh, to maybe one per deck. Maybe we can see limits on some of the new Mega EXs like Rayquaza because that, that, that card is stupid. I mean, I feel certain strategies in Pokemon should be a lot harder to pull off than what they are. I think something that can hit for 300 solid damage or something that can hit for over 220 should definitely have some reper uh, repercussions or should definitely be limited in some way as one per deck. So if you do knock it out, you don't have to worry about it again. It will be kind of like those crush, those crutch cards that people, people see. And even though Yu-Gi-Oh's uh, ban list is a complete mess, when you only have to deal with one Judgment Dragon versus three, you know, the game is a lot better. And I feel the same way here. When you only have to deal with one copy of a card that can completely throw the entire game into disarray. It's a lot better than having to deal with four copies of that card. I do hope they add the new Vileplume to the list as well, as that new stadium to the list as well, because I feel those will actually break the format and restrict play even further. But only time will tell. This here is, in my opinion, a good move by Pokemon, and I hope they do pursue more card bans in the future and just design cars better in general next time. Thanks for watching.